Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology Channel. And um, we talked about e-waste. We talked about PC e-waste. Uh, we're saying that Windows 11 will possibly put 250 million PCs in a dumpster. So it is a big problem. And everybody agrees that it's a huge problem. But we have to look also at the overall e-wastes around the planet and if we if you find that 250 million pcs in the dumpster is way too much remember that this year in 2024 something like five six billion phones will be thrown away that is a huge number and it's also a huge problem. And so when we look at e-waste, we have to, and a lot of you actually in the comments have put one, um, one suggestion that is a good one, which is companies should have to pay for all the e-waste they generate. And so... There are countries that have specific taxes, including some on uh, companies for paying recycling and you know things like that. But I think it's further than that. And a few of you have mentioned it should be forced. Um, it should be that Microsoft is forced to re actually remove the minimum requirements that are unnecessary so that PCs can continue to exist with uh, Windows 11 on them rather than being thrown away because they're not supported. And uh, for the phones, it's the same and even worse. The biggest problem with phones is that, you know, at least Windows gave you 10 years of that PC, at least. Windows 10, you had 10 years at least with that PC if you had it when you got Windows 10, and even more for those that upgraded from Windows 7. So you might say, yeah, it's a lot of e-waste, but at the same time, in compared to smartphones, which typically after about three years, a lot of them don't get updates anymore. Companies don't care about them anymore. The cycle of throwing away phones is worse, much, much worse. So, yes, companies should be responsible for that. And I think the best is not necessarily to have the companies pay for it. I think the best would be to have companies, force companies to support these devices longer. A smartphone should have updates for seven, 10 years. Um, like, like Windows g gives most PCs. Um, you know, we talked about Macs. Macs are, are worse than Windows because they are uh, not supported that long compared to Windows PCs. And so it adds over time. And of course, there's all sorts of things. A lot of you have talked, you know, and that is the biggest problem is the language and the talk about what you could do and the knowledge of people which have no idea. So an example was, of course, a lot of you have mentioned, well, you can turn it into a Linux computer, a Linux PC. Uh, yeah, it will give it, you know, more years. Problem is, two things happen in here. Nobody knows what that is. So people continue throwing away because they have no idea. And not counting a lot of people also that just can't because you... Some people need Windows. Some enterprise need Windows. So it's a complex issue, but it's an issue that I think needs to be addressed. Um, there were a lot of comments on the e-waste video yesterday. It shows that a lot of people are really finding it horrible that all of this is going to you know pollute, basically. Uh, most of it is toxic. You know, your smartphone and your PC has tons of toxic metals in them. Uh, there was a 
documentary where they were showing PCs being recycled in a country like Bangladesh where kids are running in yards full of e-waste of, you know, thrown away PCs and that the water on the ground that they step in is full of toxic metals and it affects their health. You know, there's so much stuff that is incredible that we don't have any severe laws to prevent all of this from happening. Um, you know, manufacturers prefer you to buy a new PC. They don't look at the e-waste that they're creating. They don't care. The same for smartphone makers. Hey, buy that new phone. Who cares about throwing away the other one? If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.